Hello friends, welcome back to Learn for the Lucky. My name is Anu. In this tutorial, we are going to understand what is patch and how to create patch or apply patch using Autodesk Git. Now, what is patch? Patch is a difference between two two files or a set of files. And why we need patches, or why do we need to create patches? One of the scenario is in the open source world. If you want to submit your changes or fix to the open source project, then you would rather consider creating patches or submitting it to the repository owner or raising git pull request. And second scenario is if you do not have appropriate permission or you want to make some changes and want to share your changes to the other developer sitting might be near, out of your geographical boundary, you can send the patch file to the developer using emails. So let's begin. We are in the feature slash menu branch and we are going to make some changes in one of the file and then create patch file out of it. Finally apply that patch file. So to demonstrate that we are going to edit home.html file and suppose we remove this line and save this file. We are going to create a patch file out of div. Whatever the changes we have made from since the most recent commit, we are going to consider that div and create patch out of it. So to create patch, just right click, go to Totus Git, create patch serial. Here it is at the bottom, save unified div since head option. Just click on this button and save this file save as you can save uh, this file in any of the folder and uh, share this patch file to your colleague member S name this patch file with your either with your issue id or any meaningful name we have we have made changes in home you can write like this home changes you can save this file as a dot diff or dot patch explicitly otherwise it would save by default as a diff file just save this close this close this and if you go to the folder you will see that there is a file home changes dot diff this this is actually containing the difference between the from the current working directory state uh, and the most recent commit all those would get unified in a single file just close this file. Now to apply this patch file, first uh, suppose uh, the other developer is working on, on his branch or that I want to demonstrate. So we, suppose the other developer is sitting on the same branch and he, he, he has just uh, begin working on that branch. So to, to switch back to that state, we just revert this file as we have learned in the previous tutorial. Go to Totas Git revert this file now we are in the state where we have just check out this branch and now we will demonstrate how to apply this patch file for that just go to this patch file copy this uh, just open this patch file and if just see the path at the top here the directly the name of the file is mentioned so there is no prefix path attached to it it means that that patch file should be placed at the root of the project directory so please keep in mind that it should be placed at appropriate directory structure then only it, it would get applied so we are going to place this patch file in the root of the project folder just copy this patch file and place this at the root of the project folder that other developer might be doing it i'm just demonstrating that point of view so just place this patch file at the appropriate position or place our folder hierarchy and uh, just right click on this patch file go to totals git apply single patch as you see it would open a small window that shows the name of the file that is being altered 
if you select this file that is being altered by the patch file if you want to preview that what is the difference that patch file has brought to this file just double click on this and it would show the difference that patch file has brought as this patch file has removed this line as you see at the right pan this file this line is being removed if you are satisfied with with the changes that patch has brought to your file you can simply click on this button patch selected item it would simply save this file with the difference that patch has brought so the right pan would get saved if we click patch selected item you see that this home.html has a patched state at the right column it means that the patch has been applied to this file and it is being saved just close this small window or just close this because it is automatically saved as you see home.html is is edited if you open this file you get to see that this line is not present over here so you finally need to commit this you can simply click on right click on this git commit remember while committing you should not commit or you should avoid committing the patch file so don't select this file in the commit just may enter the appropriate message patch applied you can type in any useful message meaningful message just commit this so in this way we have seen that how we have created the patch file and then place that patch file at the appropriate folder location apply this patch file that patch file brought some changes in the working tree files it may have uh, bring it may bring conflicts in the files you have to resolve those conflicts and then make commits to the local repository and if you want to push those changes in the remote or public repository you need to go to Tortoise git this option push so in this way we have learned how to create patch file using a unified diff and uh, we understand that what is the importance of patch files if you are done with the patch file you can simply delete this patch file and in this way we are at the correct state so that's it for this tutorial so if you like our videos please do like click on like button and if you have any concern or, or queries you can post your questions at the comment box and if you don't want to miss our videos in upcoming tutorials you can subscribe to our channel thank you very much for watching our video